If you hear barking in the background, it's because my dog is in his crate because he can't be trusted unsupervised. So if you hear him, just ignore it. Hey, it's Britt. So we're going to talk about LGBT issues today. Uh, in this case, it's discussing the issues that I found in Call Down the Hawk reviews. But this is just meant to be a general discussion and won't spoil Call Down the Hawk in the slightest. It's just a discussion video. So brief rundown of Call Down the Hawk for those of you who don't know. It's a, a YA thriller series uh, by Maggie Spiebotter who also wrote The Raven Cycle and two main characters, Adam and Ronan, are a gay couple within these two series and that's that's all you need to know basically. Ronan is both Ronan and Adam are not uh stereotypically gay and while reading reviews I was I was quite alarmed that people were finding fault in the fact that they were not stereotypically gay. If this is your first video with me, just know that like I'm I'm part of the LGBT plus community, so I feel comfortable discussing. <laughs> so Ronan is, uh, he has a raven named Chainsaw, uh, and he's very masculine, and people were finding issue with that in the reviews. Um, one reviewer even went so far as to suggest that Ronan and Adam weren't gay enough and that they didn't they they've been in a committed relationship uh for what seems like a while I'm I think a year has passed when we jump into the Raven cycle since they first got together and one reviewer even suggested that they didn't feel that the relationship was portrayed realistically because it's never mentioned in the narrative if they think about other people or check out other people. What? I just think that, I, I know I keep laughing in these clips and it's not because I think it's funny, I, I just, I'm at a loss for words. There are plenty of issues within Call Down the Hawk, but this warranted a video in and of itself, and I'm going to be discussing more of those topics in my review video, which I'll link up here whenever I have it done, but people are saying that Ronan and Adam aren't gay enough. And that is the real issue here. What makes somebody gay enough? What is gay enough? And why are we saying, well, you can't be gay unless you check off all the boxes? That's, that's an issue. And it's an issue I've noticed outside of literature as well. Like that seems to be, at least right now, a an issue with the the LGBT plus community itself. You can't be this unless you're X Y Z. You're not. You're not enough. And I just saying that someone is not enough to be a part of this community is a huge problem. And I'm kind of glad that I went and read these reviews. Ronan and Adam are in a long distance relationship. Uh, Adam is currently attending Harvard University and Ronan is in Henrietta, Virginia, not going to college because he school is not his thing. And uh, somebody suggested in a review that they weren't gay enough because it never mentioned in the narrative if they check out other people or not. 
first of all, regardless of if they do that while they're in a committed relationship or not, does not move the plot forward. So it has no business being there anyway. And that's just coming at it from a writer's perspective. But also, I think that that's just a ridiculous, ridiculous <laughs> criticism to make. What makes a person gay? Uh, their sexuality. That's what makes people gay. It's not stereotypes. It's not societal norms. And it's most certainly not a choice, which, no, which at least with the reviews that I read, nobody seemed to suggest. But I'm just appalled that people are saying that Ronan and Adam aren't gay enough to be gay. I don't have words. Going back to the stereotype thing, um, let's unpack stereotypes. Okay, so the stereotypically flamboyant gay man, which there is nothing wrong with, but it, it's not fitting with Ronan's character. Writers, authors, what have you, to a certain extent, we rely on stereotypes and tropes to create stories and characters. Whenever possible, it's better to avoid stereotypes because stereotypes, people don't like to be categorized as stereotypes. And I just think that that Ronan not being stereotypically gay is a good thing. I mean, I'm not a gay man, but I, I, find, I kind of find it refreshing that Ronan and Adam don't have a stereotypically gay relationship. To suggest that these stereotypes are needed in order to portray a real gay relationship is problematic, which in this community, we like to throw that word around a hell of a lot. But when an author tries to go above and beyond, we shame them, regardless of if I like what they write or not. I want to tip my hat to Maggie for not stereotyping and falling into the trap of, oh, flamboyant, flamboyant boys being gay. Just pulling from my own life experience here, uh, I don't feel like I've really ever been a gay stereotype either I that's just not a life that I, I say I'm not a stereotype as I sit here in a flannel maybe beyond wearing flannel <laughs> okay let's be serious in fact I have an identity crisis on the daily. If you follow my Twitter, you know this. Because there are times where I don't feel stereotypically gay or that I don't check off all the boxes. <sighs> There's a lot to unpack here. Hi, baby boy. And getting back on track here, I don't think it's fair to say that people aren't gay enough because it's not people's places to say what is or isn't gay enough. And in the end, by saying these things, we're, we're hurting the people within our own community by stereotyping each other. And if you want to live your life, as a stereotype, if you want to be flamboyantly gay or stereotypically lesbian or what have you, that that's that's fine. But to say that characters, people, etc., can't be gay because they don't fit your description, stereotypes, etc., of what it means to be gay. 
we got to stop that. And that's basically all I wanted to say. I want to hear your thoughts. Maybe I'm completely off base here. I, I don't know. I just, I wanted to get that off my chest and uh, I'm glad I did. So I will see you guys in the next video. Love you. Bye.